Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. We got another fun one, doing another cube magic uh, trick, but it's not, it's not. I, I'd say it's cube magic, but it's not cube magic. I don't want you to be like, uh, thrown off here. Usually in cube magic, what you're doing is you have a cube and you shuffle it up and then you can solve it, right? In some lightning fast way. Or uh, someone has a cube and you have a cube and the both of you shuffle them together and then the two cubes match. There are those. Uh, there's other ones where you shuffle up many cubes and they all come together and make a picture, okay? None of that is what's going on. With awesome, you are getting a two by two. That means it's two across, two down, right? It's not a, not a typical three by three, which is what we would consider to be a Rubik's cube, right? Just a two by two puzzle. Uh, you're using this prop as a forcing device. So you are using this trick in connection with something else. Now you can use awesome by itself. You can, you can use it as a mentalism effect. Totally can. Uh, but more often than not, what you're seeing is with this project is they're using the cube in addition to something else. So are you, you are using this cube to force a number. And yes, before we get too far into this, it's going to be the same number every single time. Always. So awesome. Joel Harbors, $40, $40, uh, at your favorite, uh, favorite magic shop. What, what do you get? Well, I mean, really, you get this, right? You get this box. This is, this is what you get. So everything comes inside this. So you're gonna get a download code to a video that's roughly an hour and four minutes, and then you get the prop, right? So those are the, those are the only two things you need. So could ask, is it what I thought? Uh, I didn't really know what to think with this. I did, I did think that it would be some sort of a Rubik's Cube trick. So I guess I didn't really know what it was. But uh, is it well made? It's a normal uh, two by two. Let me, sh let me show you what it looks like. I don't want to reveal the instructions that are on the flap. So I'm going to put the box away and show you the cube itself. So is it well made? It is. It is well made. And these numbers, they're not like decals on the outside. They're printed. Okay. They're printed. And it's going to turn uh, pretty easily, just like a cube. Okay. And, and, to, to be fair, most people have never even held a two by two. They've only held three by threes. So uh, they're not going to know what good or bad is uh, with these. The numbers are well printed though. So the other thing I will say about this cube is you don't need to know how to solve it. All right. So you are free to, you know, mix these up a bazillion times and it really doesn't matter. In fact, you're supposed to, you're supposed to shuffle it all up. So shuffle it all up get it as shuffled and mixed as you want, hand it to spectators, let them shuffle it. That's the whole point, okay? You, you'll never move this back to this position. I, the only reason I keep putting it back to this is because I actually know how to solve a two by two. And there's like this little, uh, uh, <laughs> there's like this voice in my head that always says I need to solve it. And I really wanted you to see it in a solve state. I did, so I wanted you to see what it looked like. But yeah, you don't need to know how to solve it. So don't worry about that at all. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? Like I said, it's an hour, four minutes long. Uh, they're gonna talk about how the gimmick works and then they'll just go right into the first trick because it, it, it just works. There's nothing difficult about it. And the first trick is uh, you give them the cube, they shuffle it all up as much as they want, tell them that when they're done, uh, they can look at the numbers that are on the bottom, the numbers that you can't see. They can add those numbers up to get a new number they can then mix the cube and you will know the number that is in their head. The second trick they do is an any card at any number. And of course you use the cube to find the number. The third trick is a movie prediction or really it could be anything from a list. So you have a list of popular movies or famous actors or states or countries or whatever, you know, favorite foods. They shuffle up the cube, they add up the numbers and then you've predicted the item at that number in that list. The fifth trick is a book test. Of course, that works with page numbers. And then the sixth trick is a bonus trick. 
and they talk about how to use Awesome alongside a memorized deck. So if you already have a memorized deck like Tamari or uh, you know uh, Aronson, you you can use this with that. Pocket space, I mean, it's that it's that big, right? <laughs> it is that big. Um, probably a little big for a pocket, right? It is a little big for a pocket. So I think this probably works best if you have a coat jacket, right? Like an inside, like a, like a dinner jacket. Or maybe if you carry a backpack, that would work too. Or if you do parlor or stage magic, I think that works great too. How are the angles? There's nothing to find. Nothing to find because this is not a gimmick. It's not a gimmick. It is a two by two with numbers on it. That is it. Okay, so can it be inspected? Of course, all day long. They will never find a thing. It's not rigged, it's not gimmicked, it's not magnetic, there's no trap doors, there's no mirrors, there's no nothing, there's no smoke machine, no IT, right? No false sides, nothing. It is a standard two by two with numbers printed on it, that's it. And the reality is you could prove to them with some convincers that the number they come up with would change. So you could mix the cube up, add the numbers on one side and show them, look, that's the number. You could then mix it, add the numbers on the top side again and show a different number. So there are built-in provers for them to know that the numbers won't always be the same. Now, you as the magician know how to work around that but they won't. So just in case you're wondering during inspectability, if they were to shuffle and add a different side, would they get the same number? No, they would not. Slides and difficulty level, there's nothing to do. There's not one thing, to, there's, not, there's nothing to do. Memorize your force number and you're done. Um, with the first trick that I mentioned with the, um, they mix up the cube and add the numbers on the bottom that you can't see, that one requires math. So that would require doing subtraction with double digit numbers. So you'd have a one double digit number, another double digit number, and subtraction. So you'd have to do that in your head. Positives, it's a fun prop. It is a fun prop, and it's a great way to force a number, right? It's a colorful way to force a number. Fun, playful, different, right? Um, negatives, you're not gonna overuse this, right? You're only gonna use it once because you really can only use it once. Like I said, this is this, you're gonna get the same number every time. And so I wouldn't even perform this for the same people again. You can only perform this once for one group of people and never again, because they're gonna easily see that the number ended up being the same. So you can't do this twice. Is it worth your money? It's $40. $40 is a good price. Uh, two by two, what, what could you, like I said, oh, I could make one myself. Uh, you could get a two by two for under $10 for sure. And you could probably write on it with a Sharpie marker, but you're not gonna understand the algorithm behind the numbers or how it works. So that wouldn't help you. So you you definitely have to buy it. And that's everything. That's everything I could say about awesome. I hope I was able to answer some questions for you or introduce a trick to you that maybe wasn't even on your radar. And if that's the case, now's the chance where you can help me. How do you help me? Well, easy. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit follow. Push all those buttons that you know how to do. I know YouTubers, we say this all the time, blah, blah, blah hit like and subscribe. That's why I stick this at the end because I figure by now you've already stopped watching. So, <laughs> but if you stuck around, uh, it would really help me out a lot. Thanks so much. And big, huge thanks to Joel Harbors for allowing me to have awesome so that I could do the trick for you. And like I said, you can find it wherever quality magic tricks are sold. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, do you want some more information about the t-shirt I was wearing in today's video? Sure. Uh, if you scroll down, there's a row of graphics that look like t-shirts and you can click any one of those and that'll take you to my Teespring store. There, you'll see that I have a variety of different designs. Uh, there's more than one, so it's not just the shirt I was wearing today. And they're also at a large variety of price points, so there's something for everybody. Plus, if you click on a design that you like or that you're interested in, you'll also notice that you can select that shirt in different colors. So you're not locked into the color uh, that you see in the graphic. And that means, of course, you can buy the same design in several colors. Now, I don't ask that you buy a shirt. You don't have to. That is not uh, how I ask that you support me. But if you do buy a shirt, I want to thank you so much 
for supporting my channel, for believing in me. You guys are awesome. Uh, my fans are great. And I love it when you guys send pictures or you tag me on Instagram and you say, I bought a Magic Orthodoxy shirt. Uh, you, you have no idea how, how great that makes me feel and just uh, what, what a lift that is in my day. You guys are awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye.